Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. It's been quite a while since I made a video and that I haven't got a good reason for that and the problem was that I had a crash. I couldn't resolve the crash straight away and in fact every time I started Minecraft it crashed again. So it took a few days and I figured, eventually figured out what it was and hopefully I could show you that towards the end of the video. But in the meantime let's start with what's been happening. So, this crash was actually related to a thermal dynamics mod. And when I put a cover on a, a, a pipe, it caused a crash and I left, it just wouldn't start again. So what I did to resolve it, first of all, um, I figured out that if I actually disabled the, the thermal dynamics mod, it, it then fixed it and I could then actually run my Minecraft again. But unfortunately, I lost all my fluid ducts and ducts of all descriptions. So I've been busy putting them back. And in fact, you can see here I've done some, but this time I've used opaque. Hopefully the idea is to sort of save some server CPU so it doesn't have to display things moving down these pipes. And also I didn't bother to put in um, impulse ones, so I didn't bother with the, red, uh, with the yellow glowstone and I haven't finished here yet I've still got to do some more because these require um, enderum filters which uh, take a little bit more work but let's start with something slightly interesting what did I do yes I made this thing here this is the amulet of the night and if you have a look at the recipe for this it's quite straightforward it's not too complicated at all two diamonds a potion of night vision two gold ingots and three strings and the potion of night vision is also fairly straightforward it's in fact i've got a the eight minute one which is a redstone on the potion of night vision which is a golden carrot an awkward potion and the golden carrot uh, awkward potion is simply another through the brewing stand it produces this awkward potion with water and in fact you can make the golden carrot in several ways wrapping it around in gold putting a carrot on the casting table. I haven't tried that, but that would be quite good fun to have a go at. It only needs eight nuggets, so almost one ingot. So let me show you what this does. It actually even works at daytime. So let's go to the baubles and put this in here. I mean, this is night. Now you see he's getting the, the smoky signals here. In fact, you can even see it working here because I'm flying over the water you can see right down all the way down the bottom of the water isn't that amazing if i take this out just to show you in fact you can if you look very carefully here oh we got king slung up there what's happened to him let's go and have a go at him first of all i think he's up here or was he no he's not up here maybe he is down below oh no there we have one king slime it actually looks like he's dying for some reason or other. Okay. Oh, well, must be a different one. This was just a few uh, medium size, wasn't it? Okay. In fact, let's go down here again. Press space base, we go down pretty fast. Let's get back out of the water. Press the space bar twice. And you can see here, there is some rather interesting f shapes and forms. And actually what these are, we shall go down quickly and have a look at one. I have no idea what they are. It's sort of like a an underwater living area. In fact, here you can see a creeper. Not a creeper, a skeleton. Let's go and have a look at him. We go right down fairly quickly. I have to be quite quick with this one, so I'll make sure I've put the jetpack on. And you can see here's a skeleton under the water. So I have no idea how that's happening. We'll get out of here quick. 
put the jetpack on, go up fast. So that's something interesting. Uh, right, let's go back home. Well, I'll show you what happens if I take the, the amulet off, because I don't really need sun during the day, do I? Click the warmer mammals, take it off, and there you are. You can't see anything at all under the water. So that, actually that's quite interesting as well. I've also been taking a leaf out of a, a actually watching some of Danny and Son's videos and there's one interesting one that he's been doing is about the um, Britannia so I've been having a little go at that which is round the back here I'm not doing very much at the moment we can take some wood and just make some I think I've got my axe with me there we are some huge structures of trees here which don't seem to be getting cut down so anyway I've got enough wood now what I've been doing is I've just been putting this into a I'm about to put it before I do this I've turned off this electromagnet and this dispenser here just put a few in and, it, and there's a little redstone timer here which will simply throw out one every 12 seconds so it produces a bit of mana not too much but it just, uh, it's quite good fun to, to watch it do its stuff any second now we should go click and then we see a, a block of wood go out which will then be consumed by the plants there we go so not very sophisticated but we'll get there so right let's go back to the workshop what else I've been doing is I've been working quite hard on um, obviously rewiring stuff as you can see here there's a actually there's an end a vacuum chest down here and what's happening is the vacuum chest is picking up some spare bits from the the mob grinder and the mob grinder is, has, is here and I've actually done the same thing as Danny and put these fans in here and and here what's actually quite interesting let me show you this I can't use Ender IO um, what's happening to that why is that not lifting up oh maybe it's not oh it's not it's just a piece of stone so if I take this one out of here shift right click I don't want to do shift right click what is stone um, mm -hmm. all right let's do it from let's take some stuff out of here that's probably more sensible you'll see I've got these flux plated fluid ducts and the interesting about these you can actually transfer liquids and um, energy at the same time so I can power the fans and here I take out this piece of stone I think it's stone yeah mm -hmm. you can just see it here I've got a, a redstone relay and the redstone relay is set to turn the fan on so I can give it a redstone signal it simply turns it on so let's put those two bits of stone back So all these fans are attached to the to the switch, and here we've got the autonomous activator and a vacuum hopper. And before I actually do anything else, let me put the uh, Enderman Sapphire net back into here. Maybe it produces an Enderman before I get out. Well, hopefully not. Oops. And turn this on. And you can see things are working quite nicely. And here, this I have a problem with um, Ender IO. It just simply disappears from time to time. There you go. If you were quick, you just saw it disappear then. And I have no idea why. And I set this up first of all using Ender IO, but because they kept disappearing, I couldn't really make any sense of what I was doing. So it's a bit strange. There we go. And one zombie. If I right click in here, I've got the uh, Sword of Ivan, which should sort him out quite nicely when he gets near to it. Any second now. Oh, we get two more. And of course, these are getting sucked into this item duct here, and the the fluid is going into the resonant ender tank, uh, 
portable tank. So that's quite a lot of uh, XP in there at the moment, which is quite good. You can use that. This one you can only use for uh, generating Enderman or other sport mobs. And as you can see here, I've actually lost all my piping for this as well. So I was actually going to put this back in again. So this time I'll try to use um, Ender IO pipes. Did I miss that then? Why did it not connect up? Ew. I don't really want it to behave like that, do I? Hmm. There's a challenge. Why does this not connect up? Let's disable this. And disable this one. I don't see why that didn't connect up. That's really strange. Oh. How did I do that? There we go. So that's now connected to this quite happily and we want to take the other side as well. Let's do that. Maybe it just works for him to put one in. Should be quite neat as well. So let's try that. Oh yeah, it's done it again. Isn't that weird? And here we go. So now the refinery should generating stuff let's have a look if it is well it's got plant oil but it doesn't have any uh, essence so maybe it doesn't work okay let's put that onto this connection here that's really weird let's just say well, that one have another look. Ah, this time we've got ethanol and plant oil and it was generating biodiesel which is good. So what we need to do now is to connect these two together. Yeah, that'll probably be okay. A bit weird though. So we have to disable these. Quite a few. Probably we go left it goes faster. I don't need this one either. Strange. Okay, so the generator should now have some fuel in it. It looks like it's getting fuel. So let's go and turn it on, see if it's working. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that should be filling up this. Uh, capacity bank here which it is nicely and I think once that gets full which it should do it'll uh, it should turn off automatically because it doesn't require any more power there we go 4,200 oh sorry 4 million 500,000 There we go. Perfect. Good. I shall leave that to do its job for the next time. So, what else has happened? Oh yes, I've been starting on the uh, quantum armor, and I managed to build the the first bit, which is the helmet. All right, let's look at this better. Because at the moment I've got my reading glasses on. So here we have and helmet. So now I get to quite a reading glasses actually the reading glasses are for the um, printing press here what I've done is I've also added some more um, item ducts to extract everything out of these machines and it goes through here up up around here and into this pipe here and will generate and it then basically ends up in the ME system which have been expanding and I've been doing quite a bit of work on that and I've actually now finished everything I need to do with that I think for the time being I have to expand it a bit so that so I've got a couple more chests down here I can use those for something more sensible I guess and the wireless uh, 
charger here because the other one's out of range now. And what's actually interesting is that I sometimes have to switch these on. Don't ask me why. So we got the ME controller and smart, and there's a bunch of things. Maybe I showed you that before. And here I've automated some um, industrial craft. So we've got the metal former, we've got our compressor, I've got two metal formers. Oh, I don't need two metal formers, do I? One will be sufficient, and I'll probably change that to macerator so that it works. Oh, yes, macerator and a compressor are a good combination, especially for the stuff I'm doing at the, at the moment. Here we've got two alloy smelters, one set up for a furnace, and the other as alloy. Here we've got the pulverizer resonant. The pulverizer resonant should have in it, um, let's have a look. Augmentation. I haven't got any augmentation in here yet. I need to put it in. I'll put in the um, the one that's for the secondary stuff. In fact, while I'm down here, let's have a look. Maybe it's already got some a secondary one. I'm gonna run out of space, aren't I? Oh, I need to make some more secondary ones, don't I? Flux and kit. Yep. Anyway, one will be better than nothing, so let's put that into here. So I'll, I'll get the other two in and build that some time offline. And as you see, I've got these smart cables and every single one is full in every direction. To ex I think this one's full as well, but well, maybe I've got one or two channels on the bottom here. Just two channels by the looks of it. Okay. And let's go back up to the workshop because what I've been doing is preparing this uh, quantum armor. So what I need is one more iridium plate for the, the chest plate. So here we have the quantum armor and I'm trying to build this one at the moment so I need these and I think I should have a f I haven't got any more ah yes I haven't got any iridium or oh, but I've been preparing that as well we've got six iridium ores in here What's wrong with this? No power. Why no power? No power there. Or maybe it's just taking a long time. Maybe it's used all the power up. Ah, oh, we got plenty of uh, yellow, yellowium and uh, plutonium. So this should be full. So maybe it's simply just overloaded. Yeah, it's producing 263 hours per tick. That's, that's okay dog the barking crazy so I do have enough to make the next plate which is the last plate so let's put these in here and that back into here let's go now back to the quantum armor and it's this one I'm trying to make isn't it the uncharged plate and here we have one quantum body armor very expensive, takes a long time to make. But it does give you 100% protection. So let's go and put it in the uh, MFSU, which is probably going to. How much do I just need? 10 meg. 10 meg. So that leaves a lot of this up, but not all of it. So, alright, I think, as you can see, there were actually a lot of piping I had to replace, so that's a bit of a pain. And here we have the um, the table, uh, the type setting table, and the printing press, and plenty of uh, XP at the moment, as we saw before. Lots and lots of enchanted books, some of them which are actually quite interesting. These ones aren't, but uh, sharpness five, three, repair two, and smite. The smite five I've got as well, which I have had on the uh, the wyvern sword and here's the wyvern bow oh yes that's something else 
the Wyvern bow, you can actually access this. But it wasn't as straightforward as I th first thought. So if I press Escape and go and have a look at the options, and then have a look at controls. And here we have the Draconic Evolution bindings. I had to replace this one. I think the default is C, but C is already in use. So I replaced it for the subtract, numeric subtract, and place items in the world. I don't actually know what that one does yet, but we shall see. So I replaced it for subtract. So when I press the subtract, back to game, when I press the subtract key on the numeric keypad, I get I get the GUI for that, and then I can see what the inventory is in here. So I've got uh, Soulbound, Flame 1, Power 5, Infinity 1. So basically Infinity, so you don't only need one arrow and it keeps shooting. Power is the power to, of the bow. Flame sets it on fire and Soulbound it keeps it if you die. So that's good and I still have another space for something else. So, let's have a look at what else I've got in here. I think it's probably not that much more because it's taken quite a long time to, to replace everything and I've not finished yet. I've done quite a lot of automation. Let's go back to the workshop and the ME system here. Um, so I've got alloy smelters producing things, compressor. Oh, the iron chest here is these are processes to produce the. Um, different processes for um this is the charge one so this is all down down in the very bottom floor metal former i've got ah oh yes that's why i've got two metal formers because i needed two for the different things i've got three spaces left but that's not very much i've got one space in the molecular assemblers and i've got pulverizers sag mill and sawmill as well downstairs Right, I think it's now time to try to demonstrate this crash and it's probably going to happen. So what I'm going to do, I backed up the world before I started this. Let's have a look. What's the best way to do this? Let's take this item here. And we don't want to go with the, the covers. The covers, covers cause me a problem. And what it was, I was looking at this this particular segment here, and as soon as I decided I wanted to select the cover, it crashed. So, if it crashes, I'll say goodbye for now. Otherwise, I'll say goodbye for now anyway. So, bye for now. And yes, it looks like it's going to crash. I've pressed 3 to select it.